Hey everyone, Katrina here at Copy Smiths. One of the things I'm really looking at at the moment is FAQs or frequently asked questions pages. These are very uh, highly trafficked um, pages in your website. So if you look at your Google Analytics, you'll notice that a lot of people will visit your about page. They will also visit your frequently asked questions pages. Now, now don't just be too left brain about this. The frequently asked questions page is also can be an emotional response to your brand. And I want to show you how mouse have done this. So, and what I want to do is a little comparison. So here we have the lovely dupe mode. Um, who do t-shirts, huge supplier of custom screen printing t-shirts, awesome people. But look at their frequently asked questions. See how it's just very simple. Nothing wrong with that. It's not, that's nothing wrong with having a very simple FAQ. But for me, as a punter, as a customer, I look at this and I think, oh, these guys are very um, high end. They're very established. Oh, they look like they know what they're doing. Oh, they, they've, they've got their contents very um, comprehensive. They, they look very established. And what we're going for is, um, as you know, um, how do you get people to buy from you online? Well, you have to establish trust. They have to think before they give you their credit card or their PayPal, they have to know that they trust you and that they, you're going to deliver the product. It's going to be a good quality product. It's going to be delivered on time, all of that sort of thing. How do you kind of um, subtly convey those aspects to people who are just visiting your website very quickly, who may have multiple tabs open. They're not really paying a huge amount of atten um, attention to you. Well, it comes through in just the little things that you do like this FAQ page. Now, Mouse have built this with a tool called Freshdesk, okay? So I haven't used Freshdesk. I don't know much about them. Um, I have heard of them before, but you can get a little bit of an idea that that's a knowledge base. So the bit that we're looking at here all of this is part of that knowledge base feature. But what I want to point out to you is that while Stupid Mode has, you know, it's, it's got like the good, like the most popular questions here, there's more depth, there's more clarity in Mouse's um, offering here. So you can see they've got, uh, you can go right, you can duck right into um, understanding about that particular trademarked product that they've got. There's new releases of product, there's warning returns, products of warranty, etc. And so I bet under each one of these, there's going to be a fairly comprehensive list of questions. And then if we click in, we'll see what the response is. There's also feedback, whether you found it helpful or not, related articles, when it was last modified. So this is for a punter, for me as um, a, a buyer of this product, I feel reassured that there's someone there, there's someone home, great branding, all of that sort of thing. The other thing that they've done, which is really interesting, is they've got these tutorials. And these are just YouTube videos. Uh, but you can you can imagine that these are quite useful for um, a customer who might be coming along to buy this product. So how to assemble your mouse MagSafe compatible charger stand, that would be a useful video. And they're all just stored, unlisted, on their YouTube video. Anyway, um, I'll give you a link to this page. I think this is a really fascinating FAQ just from that, that point of view of it really establishes more credibility and trust. Um, I think we'll probably do a more comprehensive analysis of FAQs in CopyZine. So if you want to be notified uh, when we go really dive deep into FAQs. You can just um, add your email address into CopyZine and once a month we're going to dive really deeply into these topics. Okay, bye.